Okay. Okay, hold on. There we go. Aloha mai kako. O tutu man ki ia o koi kapokalani. And this is September 24th. And this is our lecture for today. Iloko o kapapa a mele me kamo o lelo. A me kikuhi ano o kalima. And I don't want to forget that, yeah? Because I have, I have a request. What I want you to ponder for this weekend, and that is the word pono. You know, as a hula dancer, yeah, we have so many things we dance to. Remember, pili ka olelo, ike kuhi o kalima. Pili ka olelo, ike kuhi o kalima. That the words should be connected to your hand movements. So I want you to think about this, yeah? When we come to class next week, I'm going to ask you folks, what is your motion for the word pono? What kind of motion can you create for the word pono? Okay? What kind of motion? Mele mo olelo, amekekuhi o kalima. Okay, we're going to dance about pono. How are you going to express pono yeah, to people that are watching your performance? How are you going to be able to connect the olelo to the word pono? Okay. You know, I want to reflect on Mary Kavena Pukui, Tutu Pukui, and her fabulous Puke Veheve Olelo Hawaii. And she talks about the word pono. And of the word Pono, she says, it is the perfect order. The perfect order. So we're talking about the translation of the word before a time yeah, that the missionaries came to Hawaii and the understanding of Pono being righteous as opposed to what Tutu Kavena Pukui says, the perfect order. That goes back to our previous lecture where I talked about that pono. All right, so here we go. One, two, three. What number is first? One. What number follows one? Two. In position and rank, what number came first? One. And where is one? In front of two. Number three. One, two, now three. Where is three? Behind two. So one was the first number, stands in front of two. Two now is in the middle, that is going to be followed by three, and the rest of the numbers in succession. That's called Pono. That's called Pono. Where number one, the first number to emerge, our past, now is in the first position. Number two, and we can look at it where we are, is in the second position. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, the future have yet to emerge. That is a reflection of that perfect order that our kupuna spoke about. No kaluna koluna, no kalalo kolalo, vakia kaluna papa kolalo. Ho'oponopono then is to put into order. So, you know how people will say that before the arrival of the traders and the whalers and the missionaries and so forth, that the Kanaka Maoli didn't have to deal with all these kinds of illnesses and viruses and things like that, that these things were brought to Hawaii. But it's not like they didn't have sickness. 
One of the most prevalent sicknesses or illness, illnesses was called the ma'i uhane, or ma'i uhane hele, where the, where the spirit becomes sick. That is a ma'i aumakua. That is a ma'i kumupa'a. And what is that? We all have aumakua. We all have aumakua, who are ancestors. Kupuna, aumakua, and then akua. When we say something with our mouth, when we do something with our hands, that is not good. Things that we do that offend our aumakua, those are the things that will manifest a ma'i uhane, a ma'i uhanehele, a ma'i aumakua, and a ma'i kumupa'a. So, acting and speaking with oya i'o, which connects us to i'o, is really important. Because part of the kuleana, yeah, of the aumakua, is to keep their descendants, their mo'opuna, in line. <coughs> Children. Kalamai okoya'u. Kalamai, kalamai. This meeting is being recorded. Here we go. So, the kuleana of the aumakua is to keep their mo'opuna in that pono, that perfect order. They have big kuleana. Now, part of that kuleana, yeah, they punish. They punish. The scholars, the scholars of our va-mamua, yeah, past, wrote about that. They all write about this kind of sickness called ma'i aumakua, ma'i kumupa'a, ma'i uhane, ma'i uhane hele. So then, being in this alignment, being in this order with our aumakua, uh, it is of great importance because from those illnesses can manifest other illnesses that pili inamai na mai mauli o ke kino na mai e pili ana no ka no ono ana na mai e pili ana no ka uhane na mai e pili ana no ke kino mauli o nakanaka so once the mai aumakua sets in because of action words deeds that were not pono then other illnesses like mental illness, spiritual illness, and physical illness, you are open now and vulnerable to those things. Why? Because your aumakua nuha pahame oi, you and do something wrong. And now the mana, the authority of the aumakua, not going to be there to protect you. They're not going to be there to stand by you. So, pono then, this perfect order, yeah. And when people talk about this great word, ho'opono pono, let's get the picture straight. Okay. That word is directly linked to our aumakua. And it is directly linked to putting things back in format to that perfect order. So again, we are healthy. So, when I shared with you all, yeah, what Tutu said, yeah, Olelo mai o Tutu, me kona ike no eo, ina e hana oe, e hana me ka pono, mai ka ho o maka a ka ho o pau. You're going to do something. Do it with pono. Start with pono, end with pono. Why? You have big responsibility and kuleana. Your aumakua is watching you. Your kupuna is watching you. Your akua is watching you. 
And if you say, oh no, then where the truth, where the oya i'o of the pono and being a Hawaii, a ivi hanao ka'aina. You see, because we cannot say we're going to qualify now and quantify what is and what isn't ha Hawaii. What is and what isn't ha Hawaii. From the first breath of haloa to haloa kekalo, haloa nakalau kapali. From the continuity of life through the ha pai, <clears throat> and then the ha nau, and then the feeding, the ha nai. Pili ka olelo, ke kahi ke kahi. Mai ke lava maamua, me na kupuna kahi koloa. Ka hana o mai yano o ho ku kalani kana mau keiki, haloa ke kaloa men haloa ke kanaka. These things are words, mana mana no, that have mana authority connected to each and every one of us because we hanau o kaaina, but also because it is the truth, ka oya i o no. And if we don't believe our own truth and who we are, uh, then what? He hear no. Confused. Everything is confused. Like the Maile vine, creeping all over the forest, entangling everywhere. He hear no kamanao. You see? So, again, that pono. Whether we're going haku in a mele, yeah, we're going haku in a mele, we're going paina iho ikapoi, we're going kanu ikekalo, whatever we do, whatever we do, there's pono to it. We have to know, understand, and most of all, acknowledge and stop the qualifying and quantifying what is and what isn't. Because if our Mo'o Olelo says, Papa Hanao Moku is the goddess of the earth, our Kupuna Wahine. Then we cannot qualify, or oh, this land is sacred, or oh, this land is not sacred. That's qualifying and, and, and quantifying, okay? Well, same with Evie. If all Evie, if we say, yeah, the Evie is sacred, then we cannot say, well, this one is sacred, but Maybe this one not secret. Again, we stick in our foot in our own okole because we're not following our own truth. And where is the truth? Aya ika olelo ke ola, aya ika olelo kamana. It's there. It's telling us the words. The words contain the truth. And we're gonna ho'ohuli. We're gonna turn that all around. We cannot. That's a struggle that we're not going to win. We have to ho'opili no. Meka ike no eau ona kupuna amena aumakua meke akua. That is ike ma'amau no. The ike, the common sense that has been trickling down from generation to generation. Now, in in Hakumele, right, which is a wonderful, wonderful word. I like it because, you know, it's about putting things into order. Like ho'opono pono, you get ho'o haku haku. In a mele, ho'o haku in a mele, putting everything in proper place, ho'o haku haku, arranging it in order. Like the haku lei, yeah. You get the haku mele. And we have big kuleana. We have kuleana to whom? We have akua, we have aumakua, we have kupuna, we have olelo. And the olelo, the olelo is a great kupuna. It's a great kupuna. Who came first, me or the olelo? The olelo. So the olelo then is at the front. Makamua. The front then is the past. So I'm gonna follow my kupuna 
because I know it olelo kamana on Hawaii. There in the language is the authority of the people of Hawaii. Ivi hanau o kaaina, those that are born from the land. Na keiki o kaaina. Hiki no ke pili ke pili pono no me ka olelo. We can all connect to the olelo. Because no matter you read white, black, pink, yellow, green, purple, the olelo is truth. The olelo is truth. You can ho heva heva ho hem hem no ka olelo. Na ka olelo no e ho o huli no a naku no ya oi. You can put that out, yeah, and that language is going to turn around and bite you, makatotole. No, ho puni puni me ka olelo. Hana no ka oya i o no me ka olelo. As I said before, hana me ka puta ta me ka olelo, me ka ho puni puni no, a huli no ka olelo, na hu no ya oi, and then ue, and pehea ka ho ola. And then, when you go ho puni puni using the language, yeah, and uh, your aumaku when hear that ho puni puni, then they're gonna come and do what they're supposed to do because that is their kuleana. And we cannot tell them the kuleana; they already have kuleana. That was determined by the pono. And then, hehala. Only one way to cure that sickness through ho pono pono kamihi, kamihi meke aloha. Kamihi mau no me ke aloha, ka hea hea ako no i ke aku me kamihi, kala oko i a mākau, kala oko i au. No ka hewa i hana ako ai, ka hewa me ka no'o no'o, ka hewa me ka pu'uwa i, ka hewa me ka uhane, ka hewa ana me ka lima. So we went, we, now there's only one way to reinstore that pono, and that only can come through mihi. Because, you know, au kupuna akamai, they know we're only human beings. They know. That's why they would invent the Puuhonua. You make one mistake, uh, you run to the Puuhonua, you broke in the kapu, haki in no ke kapu, hele no, holo wawa ino i ka Puuhonua. And now na kahuna, eh, ho'opo mai ka ina mea apau, ho'ola ina mea apau me ka ho'oponopono. There it is, right there. Ho'oponopono is not a concept that came from Christian religion. Ho'oponopono was an ancient concept of our kupuna way back then. And if anybody never know, Ho'oponopono is part of the Pu'uhonua. Pela. Lolo no kahapanui o kalahui o Hawaii. So when people say stuff like that to me, I think to myself, what? Wait a minute. If you never connect all of this, and you saying that Ho'oponopono is one concept that came from the missionaries, from the Christian religion. No. They actually liked it. It was a fabulous concept, and let's piggyback onto it, which is my kai. Because it is fabulous for healing, especially those relationships. Mevaila, mekeakua, mena aumakua, amena kupuna. That is the way it indeed is. All right, so <clears throat> part of that, the pono, I have kapono o kamele, part of that, yeah, the format, the building, right? The building, the creating, putting everything in place according to rank and file. Ho! Oh, Wow, what is that? Kaho kumuana. Ho kahi o kako mea kumu o yo yo kea kua. The creator, the reason, the cause, the purpose in the pono comes from akua. But if we are kinolau, if we are manifestations and extensions, he kipahano kako ke ho kumu. Ke ho okumu i na mea, ko mako mau make make, i alaka i ia, e ke kumu me ke akua. So, you know, as we're guided by, you know, the, 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 the creativity of our akua, by the great things that were created, 
yeah, through the birth of Halua ke Kalo and Halua ke Kanaka through our Akua, Vakia Kalani Papa Kahonua, and all the things that were created within, uh, we can create too, but we have to follow that Pono, that order, and that order, oh my goodness, my Kai, my Kai. The whole kumu, that's why they call the teacher the kumu. We have to reflect the same kumu, creativity, kumu, teaching, kumu, source, as the kumu from all pono. You know, hana oi, hana oi meka pono, mai ka ho makanoa ka ho pau. Pili a oi ke akua a, o ke akua ka mua a, oi a ka pono. 